Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Simple Core Redux, the final build overview. Um, this one's going to focus on the Z axes. We've talked about the gantry in the previous videos, but I'm going to go over the gantry really quick just because I have made some changes for my build. So as you can see here, I am using the AT4 toolhead. I have modified this to work on Simple Core. This will not work out of the box. I've modified this uh, for the Bamboo Labs cowl and I am using Bowden. Again, I've only modified this one cowl for AT4. Most of you will be using the EVA toolhead with the EVA 3 ecosystem, whatever hot end you're gonna be using, whatever direct drive extruder you're gonna be using. If you want to use the bamboo hot end, go on printables. There are mods for Eva to work with a bamboo hot end. Um, I like the AT4. I like how it looks. Uh, I was going boat in anyway, so I figured I might as well just modify this and make it my own. I have also changed quite a few things here on the um, XY axis. So there is a new single piece XY joint, which is working really, really well. It's more accurate, it's much stronger. There's not a top and a bottom plate anymore. So it is a singular XY joint. We can see we're using uh, five millimeter dowels here to actually have hold our bearings, which is really good. I've also changed my X rail to an MGN 12. Um, I've done that because my extrusions here are really cheap Amazon extrusions. I don't know if you can see this little tiny lip here that's on either side. MGN9 won't sit flat on these. Uh, you have to fight with them a lot to get them to sit flat. So I was having a lot of issues with my tool head being at an angle because of the MGN9 rail. So I went with MGN12, it fits perfectly fine. Uh, so again, if you're in the United States, I would recommend you use Misumi 2020 extrusions if you, if you can because um, they don't have these lips here and MGN 9 will sit nice and flat. Same thing with LDO uh, extrusions. They're nice and flat and MGN 9 work. I was able to get MGN 9 to work on my 2020 here. Um, it's a pain but you can get it done. So just note that I just found it very difficult to find 2020 extrusion that didn't have this uh, little tiny lip on here. It didn't matter where I looked, AliExpress, Amazon, in Canada, I had a really hard time finding it. Um, I haven't really had this issue before, so it could also be the, the linear rails that I'm using are also causing some of the problem as well. So just pay attention to that when you order parts. I did not order these rails from the bill of materials. I ordered just everything off Amazon so I could build this really, really quick. You'll also notice I have switched to a 2020 extrusion for X as well. Um, the Voron carbon fiber tube technically does work, but because you need to tilt it, it wasn't as rigid on the uh, XY joints as I would have liked. I couldn't bolt the top down you would only bolt the front and the backs and it just wasn't rigid enough. So I just went to a normal 2020 extrusion for X. Um, so it's kind of more standard, my X axes now, with the exception of I'm using an AT4 tool head and I'm using a Bowden now um, with the boombox uh, extruder. So before we talk about the Z, I'd like to thank PCB Way for sponsoring this video. PCB Way is offering purple solder mask at no extra cost. Purple is one of my favorite colors other than green, of course. So definitely check that out and order some PCBs before the end of the month. PCB Way doesn't just do PCBs. They do CNC machining, 3D printing. They do flexible and rigid PCBs. Let's go ahead and try out some 3D printing here. Let's take one of the files from Delta Flyer. This is the bamboo hot end mount for Delta Flyer. Let's add a quantity of one. We're gonna choose ABS. And of course, let's set this to green and choose 40% infill. You can see here we have our price on the right hand side and we can go ahead and order that 3D printed part. 
If you need PCBs, CNC machining, or 3D printing, definitely check out PCBWay in the link in the description below. Uh, the Z axes. So what I've done here is I've built the Z axes, the latest uh, CAD files. Um, I haven't had to change anything. Again, Ian's uh, gear reduction mod works really, really well, the four to one gear reduction. But here is how the actual belts work. So we can see here we have a idler here with a tensioner, 3M tensioner at the top that will actually tension your belt. The belt actually sandwiches in between this bed mount and the linear rail. And that's how your ends of your belts um, get attached. There's no zip ties, there's no apex clips, there's nothing. They just, you pull them through a hole in the middle here, if you can see, there is a slot in the middle. So you pull your ends of your belts out this way and you sandwich this and clamp it and make sure these four M3 bolts are very, very tight because it is clamping these bought back um, belts on there. As well as you can see the belt loop then goes through a little slot here and it's just a simple uh, straight belt. You can see here how my bed is mounted. We're just mounting it right here with M5 bolts to the bed mounts. Um, I'm using silicone spacers here for my bed. This is a K1 um, Funsor bed. So this is an aftermarket K1 bed. It uses uh, 110 volts on this particular version, but K1 bed will work. Um, Ender 3 bed mount should have similar um, mounting holes as well that will work. Uh, you can see at the back here, the adapter there to actually allow it to bolt onto the back. It's very straightforward. Um, and this allows us to do Z tilt. We have three independent Z axes here, and I can actually do a clipper Z tilt with this. We don't need any fancy bearings or anything here. There is enough movement in this to actually do a Z tilt, right? We're only moving ever so slightly up and down, like one millimeter, maybe, right? The bed is most of the time gonna be almost flat. So Clipper Z tilt is doing very minor uh, corrections. You do not need fancy spilker bearings or any sort of weird stuff here. It just, uh, it's just not needed. So this is, Simple Core in a nutshell, it's the condensed down version of a Core XY 3D printer. The bare minimum you need to make a decent Core XY 3D printer. You'll also notice here that I have printed out bottom and back panels. I still got to do the top one, of course, but um, again, I'm doing bottom panels 3D printed. Uh, one, I just didn't want to buy any acrylic and um, it's fall out here where I live now. My laser is in my garage covered in a whole bunch of stuff. So I figured why not just print out some panels and then I'm just using some Voron style panel clips. There's no bolts in these so they can shrink and I can move them around and I can get my gap in the middle where I want. The bottom panel costs eight bucks, right? These are like $2 a piece, uh, 3D printed material. You can make them all sorts of different colors. It just gives you more um, customization. You can of course do acrylic, but I just chose this because I want this printer to get built. I want to get the files on printables for all of you, and I just want to get it done kind of thing. So you may choose to use acrylic. I will also maybe uh, modify this just to cover this gap in. I didn't know if I was going to move these linear rails forward or not, so I left this large opening here. Um, there is some decent uh, spots on the back to run your cables. There is uh, cables here, uh, holes for the cables in the corners. There's a, a hole here for your bed um, heater cables. And uh, yeah, so the belted Z axis on this printer is very straightforward and it's very easy to assemble. There's no fancy parts. Um, you can build it really, really easily. Um, I chose MGN 12H linear rails for my Z. Uh, the parts will also accommodate MGN 12C uh, carriages as well. So H or C will work perfectly fine. Um, and uh, yeah, that's kind of all I had to do to get 
Simple Core Redux printing. So this printer is printing. I'm not ready to do a video on it printing or show off any, um, any kind of models or anything like that. I'm still in the tuning process. I literally just got this printing yesterday. So, but I did want to do an overview of kind of, again, what we built on live stream. You know, I built these uh, linear rails on live stream. Uh, I did also make a tool for the back here that basically aligns the linear rail. All the tools will be included on printables. The files are not quite ready for printables yet. I'm hoping maybe end of this week, I'll have a printables page that will have printable uh, files on there. Um, there's a couple little minor revisions that uh, we're gonna make to the, some of the files. And then there'll be a fresh CAD version out. And then um, I can upload all the, the files to uh, printables and then that way people can go ahead and start getting printing. So kind of just a quick overview on what I've done so far based on the live streams and how the printer is actually going coming together. Um, so like I said, Zed's done. I've got Clipper installed. It's all running. Um, my AT4 tool head is all good to go. I did install two LEDs in there. It was a pain because I didn't have the correct wiring, but I got it to work. Um, and yeah, this printer is printing. I'm very happy with it so far, but I got a long ways to go yet on doing some tuning before I make a video showing off uh, some models and showing it printing. So uh, definitely stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. There's gonna be lots more 3D printing videos. Um, check out the description below for my Discord link. Uh, we're over 7,000 members on Discord. We have an incredible community on there. Lots of people interested in building simple core Redux, um, Delta Flyers. You know, we have a really active Delta um, channel on my Discord. It, it's a really great place to be for beginners and advanced users alike. So check that out. If you want to support the channel, check out my Patreon link below. And uh, I'll catch you all next time.